Thank you, Dr. Househalter. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jenny Bartlett Prescott. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Church Health, but also serve as the lead for the testing uh, subcommittee specific for our community test sites on the Joint Task Force. So I'm here this afternoon to give you an update on where our community testing capacity stands today. Um, all test sites have recovered from the issues we experienced in July that created reduced testing capacity. We are very thankful for that and happy to announce that. Uh, we're thankful for the collaboration and the cooperation that occurred among our local labs and our community test site partners to quickly resolve those issues and get us back to our normal test center capacity and operations. So currently we have the ability to perform 8,200 tests each week at 30 different test sites across Shelby County. We will continue to add new sites and partners for testing as those become available and as testing becomes more widely available. So please visit the website covid19.memphistn.gov so that you can find a site if you do need to get tested that works for you. We offer testing at multiple times of day, multiple days of the week, and of course, multiple locations. So that site will be remain our central place where we keep it up to date. Uh, we have added a column to all of our um, test site grids so that we are able to let parents know what ages are tested at each site. Um, as Dr. Househalter mentioned with schools, starting back with in-person learning, at least in some school locations, we know that will be a concern. We do have wide availability for testing for children, and that is not a concern as far as access at this point in time. Um, it is important to call or text to get your appointment for testing. Uh, this allows us to continue to prioritize our scheduling so that we make sure that people with symptoms and people with known exposure to cases are able to um, be first in line to get tests. Um, currently, with the wide availab availability of testing across all of our sites, um, we do know, though, that cold and flu season is just a couple of months away, and of course, school starting back in session. It is possible that demand will increase again in the future. So we use data to inform our test sites about when we need to um, strategize and prioritize for testing and potentially have some limitations again for asymptomatic um, testing in the future. We are grateful for all of our partners. Um, we're grateful for the wider community uh, members of Memphis and Shelby County. You have been flexible, you have understood um, that we have to flex our test sites and we have to flex to make sure that we can meet the needs where, um, where testing is needed most and that that can change from month to month. So we thank everyone for your understanding for that. But again, we're happy to uh, make it clear today that we have wide testing availability throughout the county.